Hi, everybody. Um, one of the things that people really like to know as a school year starting is how to use the calendar to make sure you're not missing anything important. So I'm going to try and do a quick kind of tutorial that runs you through uh, how our calendar works, how to find it, and how to find the things that you want because there is a lot going on in the district and sometimes it can be kind of daunting to try and find just the stuff that you're looking for. So to get to the calendar, what you want to do is click on these three little lines here and then click on calendar here. And what that brings up is the main calendar. It's got everything in it. And like I said, this is one week here, and that's all the things that we have in the calendar right now. So there are some ways to sort of pare that down to see just what you want. Um, the fastest and easiest is just to switch your calendar type. Right now it's got everything. Let's clear that. Let's say we're only interested in academic information. If we view that, then it shows just like the real basic stuff. like. These are all things that when people put them into the calendar, they tag it as academic or whatever, whatever they think it is, fine arts. So the first full day of school was on Thursday the 15th. Then there's a car wash. And then you can just kind of skip by week by week over here looking at the overview calendar. And it'll say main things. So the car wash, I guess, is academic. Um, it's for the international travel. This is where it is. And you can keep kind of sorting through that. Um, so that's one way you can do it. You can switch your calendar. Like maybe you're only interested in, in athletic information. You want to view that. And then it shows you just practices and stuff. So that's a way. If you just want to find one thing, that's probably the easiest way to do it. If you click on view schedules, this is where you can find, like if you want to subscribe to a calendar that gets pushed out to, with only the stuff that you care about and gets pushed out to your calendar app on your phone, this is the way to do that. So let's say, I, like, let's say I'm a parent and the main thing I want to know is when is school not happening so that I make sure that I don't send my kid on that day. So I don't care about individual holidays so much, but I do care about things like early release. Um, because you can click off individual holidays, but if we just find like a setting for no school, that's easier. Um, golf, 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 main event. Memorial Day, that's an individual holiday. Semester one ends, semester two ends. Those seem like a big deal. Um, I'd like to know when we have senior finals because my kid is a senior. Um, actually, my kid's kindergarten, but for the version of me that's not real, I'm going to click off Thanksgiving break just to be safe. Winter break. OK, so last time I looked, you could just say non-attendance day. So let's just click off all the holidays that we have. Kasper Pulaski, go back through it. Memorial Day, President's Day. Okay, so then we hit view. And I to select more than one thing, on a Mac, I held down command while I clicked. On a PC, you would hold down control. So then what this does is it makes this little document that's got all your stuff, comments like no school on Thanksgiving break. It's got all those dates kind of lined up there. Now, you can have that pushed to your phone if you hit the subscribe button. And then it comes up and it shows you how to make it happen for whatever it is you want to do it with. So if I click on iCal, Open calendar, sure. I haven't done this in a while, so hopefully it works. And then I can just hit subscribe. I've actually already made the calendars that I want, so I'm not going to hit subscribe because um, I don't want to confuse myself. But that's what you do, and then suddenly, boom, all that stuff pops up in your calendar. It's very cool. And the last time I did that was like two years ago, and I'm still getting those kinds of academic things pushed out to my calendar. So it's um, it's a really kind of a nice feature. If you have any questions about that, you can definitely contact me. I'm uh, Sam Warden, so it's samuel.warden at chsd117 and I'm .org, and I'm kind of in charge of the website here, so um, I'll be able to help you out. All right, let me know if you got any questions.